Hello, I'm Steve Maskery and welcome to Workshop Essentials. Today I'm making some tapered table legs on the bandsaw. Now this is my table leg blank, it's still square in section and I've already cut the mortises on my mortiser over here. There are two faces to be tapered and that's the inside of the legs. If you taper the outside of the legs then the table will have a sort of pigeon toed appearance to it, it's not very attractive. So I'm only tapering the inside faces and that way it will look a little bit splayed even though the, uh, the legs themselves are vertical. So there's two cuts to make and I've done my layout lines. Um, 42 millimetres at the foot and then up to 60 millimetres at the top. But I'm not starting the taper right at the very top because my apron is going to go in here. I'm going to start a little bit below the apron. So I've measured down 110 millimetres and drawn my um, diagonal line at that. This is my jig. There are lots of tapering jigs designs about, but they all work on the same principle. You're presenting the workpiece to the blade at the required angle. And this one is very simple, it's just two pieces of wood screwed together. A bit of uh, OSB scrap out of the scrap box and an L-shaped fence. Now I use this on my sliding compound miter saw behind you actually, uh, when I need a little bit extra length than, uh, than my fence will allow. Uh, I can clamp this as a stop when I need a bit extra. So I've nicked that off there and screwed it down and it's screwed in such a position that when my workpiece is in there, the workpiece and the jig are flush at the 110 millimetre mark. And the bottom of my foot is flush on my layout line there. So that's all there is to it really. We start off uh, with, the, with one mortise against the bed of the jig and the other mortise facing outwards. If you do it the other way around, the second cut, the workpiece isn't supported properly. Uh, this back end is kicking up a bit, so at the end of the cut, if you press down, the thing kicks up in the air, which you don't want. So mortise downwards against the jig, mortise outwards, gonna get cut off. And that's a nice clean cut. Save this. You never know when it's going to be useful when you want to clamp things up. So the next thing to do is to do the second cut and we turn that, from my point of view, anti-clockwise. So that um, we've still got a flat face, a flat outside face in this case, against the jig and the other mortise is facing outwards. Then it's over to the surface planer or the bench with a hand plane just to clean off all the bandsaw marks. And I've got one very clean tapered table leg and all four of them will be exactly the same because of the fixed angle of the jig. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. It makes a difference, it really does matter. Until the next time, enjoy your workshop. Cheerio!